Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson. I'm very happy to have you here with me today. Today I'm very excited to uh, introduce to you a new uh, community node, which is a great uh, community node that will save you doing uh, HTTP requests. And we all know that we just hate doing HTTP requests, right? It's just so hard sometimes. Uh, but this way, uh, we'll, it will be a lot easier. But before I start, I just want to point your attention to my store. Here you will find all of my automations and workflows, both for init and make.com and also Comfy UI. You will find them in packages and also there is this all access tier that you can access everything that is in here and plus all the future ones that I will create. All right. With that being said, let's go back. So uh, first you need to go to community nodes. This can be accessed if you click on the three dots here and go to settings. Then inside of the community node section here, you need to install. But first let's go ahead and see what we want to install. We want to install the perplexity node, which is well, per perplexity is, is really getting good, especially with the last updates. Uh, plus it has access to the internet and it's very, very smart. Uh, so let's go back to here. So I want to install and I'm going to put the name of the node. It needs to start with N8N nodes and then the name. Okay. So I click the checkbox and click install. All right. It tells me that it's not found. Let's see. Maybe I didn't copy it correctly Let's try again okay let me refresh Maybe we need to grab all of this. All right, so that installed it. So I just needed to grab all of the name. So let me go back to here and I will hit uh, save first and then refresh. So I need to search for perplexity. There you go. So uh, for community node, it usually uh, adds a cube to it. So you know, so you know that it's a community node. I'm going to click on it and then you have the create chat completion. All right. So it immediately added this trigger, which is a manual trigger. So a trigger is the first step you start your workflow. A manual trigger cannot be activated right from here because you need to, uh, you need to activate it manually. So for, for this first, we need to add our credentials. So I'm going to add our, my API key and get back to you in a second. All right, I just added it and I'm going to click save. Perfect, says the credentials went through. So I have my account now so I can have a chat completion and then I can uh, select the model. All right, so uh, now I can choose uh, so uh, which type. So if it's a user or let's say I'm a user and uh, here you have extra uh, uh, extra fields that you can create. Let's say, um, let's search for, can you, or, uh, let's say, um, what are the top 10 community 
nodes for anything. All right. So let us test this and see what uh, we get. There you go. So we have these results. So we have uh, all of this. So the message is, uh, I couldn't find a complete list of the top. However, I provide you some information on the community nodes. Okay, so uh, it gave us the number one. Okay, evolution. Uh, okay, so it gave us a list of the nodes that are there. All right, so uh, there you go. That's your answer from uh, perplexity with a specific perplexity node. Now, before this, what we used to go through is go to HTTP request and then here we needed to choose between get or post and then send the body and then get a JSON and uh, then uh, specify the authentication, put my API key. And it's very much, uh, I mean, it's doable, right? But it's, uh, it's a long process and it can be hard for beginners. But with, uh, with this community node, right? Uh, it, it does everything for you. So it does all the requests, the API and everything. You only need to give it what you want. In this case, we have a chat completion and we have, we can choose between system user and assistant, and then we put a what we want and then we test and we get exactly what we want, right? If we get, if we put an edit fields after this, right? Then you can see here uh, all the search results that it went through. It gives us all the search results and the links, and then uh, it responds with the uh, the message inside of the message. It will be a content, and then there you go. All right. So I encourage you to use perplexity more because with the recent models, uh, it's been getting very, very, very interesting and very, very smart. There are things that ChatGPT doesn't really get or doesn't really answer me what I want. Only perplexity can do it. So, uh, in a nutshell, uh, the uh, you get the nodes from here. I will include the link in here, uh, and then you add it to the community nodes right here, and then you will have access to this. All right. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Uh, if you did, please give it a like, subscribe for more videos, and I will see you in the next lesson.